have suffered greatly, both with those that love me. And oh, blah blah blah. For always roaming with blah blah blah. blah. Much have I seen Bored now. Cities of men and manners. Okay. I know you like classical literature. You blah, blah, blah. It's a good piece. Blah, blah. But you said he was dead. You know, from heaven, wherever that is. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Not my place to die, judge. I'm your commanding officer, not your moral compass. Moral so compass. Not commanding officer, huh? We'll have to see about that. Oh, we will. Get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. Yeah, you took up a lot of my damn time. Because what? Oh my gosh, she's calling me fucking Skipper, piece of shit. I hate that. What's up, Rex? Lots of reasons. Yeah. Such as. Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. I needed to eat. Stay and help your people. I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. Really? What happened? I was betrayed. Oh yeah, this one. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jericho, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turian. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Solarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. <laughs> stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. He told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead lay bare to remind us where we come from, where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked, but we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. I see. So long, Rex. Well, one thing that I just noticed, he said he sunk his dagger in him, if you don't know what dagger it is. It's mainly... It's like a knife, mainly, but it's like, if you play Skyrim, you know what a dagger is, and I don't know why they're, they're just daggers in Mass Effect, but, um, they said in Mass Effect 3, after you do so a certain thing, you, the, you, uh, Rex, one of the Rex quests, or whatever, uh, you say this, he's like, where, he's like, well, this is where I shot my father, and he apparently, in this game, they said he put a dagger in his throat, or whatever, but whatever. You fucked up Bioware. You said you, you stabbed him, Rex. Tell us the truth. Did you shoot him or stab him? That's that's what needed to be said. But whatever. But yeah. Well, I'll I'll try to remember that when Mass Effect Three, when I get around to Mass Effect Three, 
or when 